This is our Cisco Plus Secure Connect single pane of class overview page that shows all the details of your entire set of security events, all the security and network policies, your remote access integration details, your SD-WAN branch integration and its health, and all the discovered public and private applications. Now let us take a look at how to integrate your Meraki SD-WAN branch with Cisco Plus Secure Connect. We have completely simplified and automated this integration workflow. It's a simple two plus pro, two step process, wherein the first step is to configure and deploy your cloud hubs in Cisco Plus Secure Connect data center regions that are closest to your Meraki networks. Once we have deployed these cloud hubs, the second step is to connect your Meraki networks to this deployed cloud hub regions that is closest to these networks. All your Meraki network list comes up here. The entire set of Meraki networks is listed. Now we just bulk select what networks we want to choose, like we want to connect to which cloud hub and we have the capability to choose which region out of the pair we want, which region that is closest out of the pair we want to choose as our primary uh, active cloud hub and automatically the second region in the pair we choose as our failover hub. Now once we confirm in the back end we take care of the entire auto VPN configuration workflow that entire thing is automated and voila done this entire integration has been done in with in just two steps. Now once this is done we have connectivity status of each branch shown here, what cloud hub that branch is associated with, what are the local subnets that have VPN enabled, and what are the device details and information. So this completes our Meraki SD-WAN branch integration with Cisco Plus Secure Connect. Now let us take a look at how to integrate remote access with Cisco Plus Secure Connect. It is, a, we have emulated the same workflow of Cis, uh, Cisco AnyConnect with Umbrella integration. Now, if you see, we have a seamless cross launch to Umbrella where we can do all the remote access related configs and we have already deployed. We give a fully qualified domain name for users to log into their VPN. These are the supported regions where we have all we have uh, secure connect support with remote access with this we also expose the capabilities of umbrellas security policies that can be done all your security policies can be configured here and your private public applications can be integrated here we also have a way back to cisco plus secure connect we come back and now we have to taken a look at integrating remote access with Cisco Plus Secure Connect, integrating Meraki SD-WAN branch with Cisco Plus Secure Connect. Finally, let us take a look at how we have our clientless ZDNA solution, which is for users who want to access applications that do not require any VPN configurations or any VPN. For those specific applications, we have what is called as browser access policy wherein we can onboard these applications to Cisco Plus Secure Connect and then we can actually create a browser access policy for that particular application, define what action needs to be taken. Let's say I want to allow all access to these applications for only these set of users and groups of users and for this particular application and I can create, a, an, I can attach an endpoint posture for these particular users as in I want users who have the latest OS browser version and are located in this particular North American region. I want them alone to be able to access this application without any VPN capabilities, right? So this is how simple our browser access policy is. Now finally, this actually shows how simple our Cisco Plus Secure Connect is and this simplicity comes with us hosting it on the Meraki cloud and our integration with Umbrella brings that tighter and secure robust security solution uh, 
Now bringing together this, these two, we have our internet interconnect capability and that makes it a more fully unified SASE solution.